Hi guys, Toby here for TP23 Productions. Now, uh, I got a DVD review, however, uh, I do not have the case. It was a film that I watched around my friend's house the other night, and uh, it was a film called Rush. Rush, if you don't know, is a film that is kind of a sports drama, really, and uh, it shows you the relationship of uh, two F1 awesome drivers. Uh, by the name of James Hunt, who was a British driver, and Nicky Lauda, who was an Austrian F1 driver. Um, I've never heard of James Hunt before, who uh, is played by Chris Hemsworth. Uh, Nicky Lauda, I've heard of him. Um, I know about his um, features, should it put it that way. And this story, really, it tells the rivalry between them back in the 1976 sort of era of Formula One. And in all honesty, I'm not a huge F1 fan. I'm only a fan of F1 if there's a crash or something big and major happens that uh, kind of gets the nation gripped, really. Um, I'm not the sort of F1 fan that could watch them for hours on end, just going round and round and round the track for, you know, 70, 80 odd laps. Uh, so really, Rush is not my sort of film. However, I did watch this around my friend's house. He is a car racing fanatic, he likes all his cars, his motors, his engines, um, so I thought I'd give it a watch anyway, and to be honest, at the end of it, after about, I think it was about a two hour long film really, after the film, I did pretty much enjoy it, it was an enjoyable film, I enjoyed the rivalry between the two F1 racers, um, it portrayed Nicky Lauda, who was the passionate racing fanatic, James Hunt, who was the sort of playboy F1 racer. So there was a difference in sort of characters. Nicky Lauda, who was passionate about the sport, whereas James Hunt was more passionate about the profiling of himself, how he could portray himself as a playboy sort of character who, in his career, would uh, go around a track really, really fast. That's what he sort of come across as, almost. But it showed the rivalry from... Formula 3, I think it is, where it's the stepping stone almost uh, for the characters to go into F1. It also showed how uh, the rivalry grew and how it still progressed from Formula 3 to Formula 1. It showed the crash as well, Nicky Lauda, how he became uh, burnt. It's unfortunate to say, but it was how uh, the car's safety became more recognisable as today's standards. But really, um, it's one of the few films that I have seen Chris Hemsworth in where he is not done in a cape with a giant hammer. So to see him portray an F1 racer called James Hunt uh, back in 1976 who was racing against Nicky Lauda, one of the greatest F1 racers of all time, um, it was pretty good to see. Like I say I'm not an F1 racing fan but at the end of the film I did enjoy Rush. It is a new film as well, it's come out in 2013 so it is uh, pretty recent sort of film. Uh, apart from Chris Hemworth there is a character who was portrayed um, to play Nicky Lauda. That actor is uh, Daniel Bruhl, B-R-U-H-L. Don't think I've ever seen him in any sort of film before however um, he did even look like Nicky Lauda. He portrayed him pretty well. He was believable in his character and he came across as a confident F1 racing driver who knew what to do and he knew how to make the cars go faster, really, um, to make them a higher, better standard uh, from what they were to how they almost became a top-notch racing car back in the day. But, uh, yeah, really, guys, if you like F1 and if you want to see the story of a great rivalry between one of the greatest F1 drivers, being Nicky Lauda, and his then competitor James Hunt then by all means I would recommend Rush. Uh, like I say I'm not an F1 fan uh, but I still enjoyed it. Um, it. I do know who Nicky Lauda is so therefore uh, when the character came across the screen saying you know Nicky Lauda blah 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 you know introducing himself uh, then I knew instantly who it was and who the character is today really and um, yeah it was good to see like I say, I'm not a, a, a huge F1 fan. However, it was good to see Nicky Lauda um, back in his heyday, back at being a champion, um, 
you know, his rivalry that he had. It was good to watch that, and it was good to see how his crash uh, affected him from then to become a champion, to become a winner, uh, to become one of the greatest F1 racers of all time. And it was good to see that. Um, I mean, the guy's still around. He's still, uh, you know, walking around the tracks. I know he's met Michael Schumacher in the past. Um, so, yeah, it was good to see his early F1 racing career and how it got started. And really, uh, I can't recommend rushing off. It was a very good, enjoyable film for me, even who's not an F1 racing fan. So, in all honesty, guys, if you want to watch a film that portrays a awesome sporting rivalry in the F1 racing game, then by all means I would recommend going out and watching Rush. So guys, that was my pretty quick review of uh, the film Rush. Um, I don't have it with me, I watched it around a friend's house. It was a very enjoyable film, even for someone who's not an F1 racing fan. And as usual guys, don't forget, We The Devoted all the gear Use promo code TOBYWTD, gets you 20% off any We The Devoted gear. Links are down below, as per usual. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching my review of Rush. Hope you enjoyed it. I do recommend it, even if you're not an F1 racing fan. Thanks for watching, guys.